Hello children. Happy Sunday. <gasps> oh yeah, I'm sorry, I don't have my iPod over there playing, so some of you get very used to the music and you get very upset when the music is not playing. I also forgot to turn my lights on. As you can see, it's kind of dark in here. But uh, it's just that kind of a semi-sunny, semi dreary day, and I have yoga here. But I'm going to hot yoga a little bit later, so it's only going to get worse. There you go. But I just wanted to tell you that it's Sunday. I just had church earlier and um, decided that since I was all out of food issues, um, since I had like no, um, I didn't have any hummus, I was out of vegetables, I was like beside myself. There just wasn't a lot to eat and I'm getting rid of a lot of things and I'm going to tell you a story about what happened yesterday that was an interesting lesson. But anyway, I just went to the grocery store and I'm about fixing, pretending like I'm in the South, I'm fixing to make this recipe that Danielle forwarded to me from one of our ambassadors. Um, oh God. Chocolate covered Katie. These are called original fudge babies. And Danielle has been swearing that they are amazing and that even her husband, who would never try something that's like all natural, um, thinks they're uh, amazing, so I'm going to try them. Um, and then I also just want to call attention to the fact that, of course, I stocked up on a bunch of fish to cook today. Tilapia! And look at this bad boy. That is salmon. Ooh, it's not a surfboard, it's salmon. It also cost a lot, so I'm going to have to have um, some people over. Anyway. Hell, color added? See, Corey would have a field day with this. I'm starting to notice all of these things that are really pissing me off. Like, why are chemicals, I, you know I love chemicals at the moment, but I still am like, why do you have to add color to my fish? But um, I tried to, I, I got, what did I get? Well, first of all, let me just show you what pisses me off. When I buy vegetables and then I go in my um, cooler or whatever it is and see all the moisture in there, and then they're like gross and mushy. This is my problem. I buy vegetables and then I don't eat them and then they get all like watery and gross and then I throw them away. That is not good. So I'm working on being a little more organized, which is never gonna happen for a while. Anyway, you know what I did? So I just went to the grocery store. I bought fish, I bought dates, I bought walnuts because we're gonna make these fudge babies right in front of you in a minute. Live, a la Food Network, but not. Um, and also without good lighting. And um, so what else did I get? Fish, I got um, hummus. They probably think I'm like sponsored by Sabra Hummus at this point. Um, lettuce, peppers, Brussels sprouts. And then I come home and I'm putting my vegetables away and I already have like six bags of Brussels sprouts from Peapod. Don't pay attention, I'm not paying attention. So flash, just like I need someone to follow me around and be my assistant like who literally Look at that messy hair. Lives in this house. It just walks around behind me and knows what I need and what I don't need. Well, what the hell? Just ignore that. So, we're going to make these fudge babies right in front of you. First of all, before I make the fudge babies, I have to tell you, Mr. Flo, Mr. Flo, feeling good. Went to hot yoga yesterday, and I'm going to tell you, <laughs> whenever I haven't been to hot yoga for like a week, it is so humbling, and it's a good thing. But, um, whew, my hamstrings are like, holla, and my ass is like, OMG. Um, and I'm also feeling it in the upper body, but I always feel it really in my lower body and my core. Um, more on that to follow. Going today at four. So here's what happened. I was babysitting last night, um, and we went to see a movie. So I'm going to, we went to see Mirror Mirror, which was really good with Julia Roberts. And I had not, let's see, my day was a little crazy. Got up, had my normal breakfast, um, but I didn't do my whey protein powder because I told you guys, I'm really finding that, I, I think that it's probably gonna be best for me to really cut dairy in general, because now even the littlest bit of dairy is upsetting my stomach, so I didn't have the whey protein powder, I had eggs. Um, and then I went to hot yoga at 10, was finished by like 12.30. I had one of Corey's like gluten-free vegan um, protein bars or something. I didn't even look at it, but it was something to eat because my stomach was like, Rah! and he was probably like, me give you something so that you don't embarrass the rest of the people in the studio or yourself. So I had that, but I was still really hungry. Came home, showered, got ready, went to go pick her up, and then we went to the movie. So it was like, the movie was at four. I hadn't eaten since, that's all I'd had to eat the whole day. And I was hungry. So I thought, well, you know, I haven't been to the movies in months and months and months. 
I don't have my old favorite. You know, I haven't had it. And I haven't been thinking, you guys, this whole time. Like, I didn't set out and say, I'm going gluten-free or I'm not having any white flour. Like, I, I didn't think about that, but I really haven't. Like, I have not had, you know, maybe a bite here and there. Um, I think one time when I went through that Kentucky Fried Chicken drive through um, and I got plain mashed potatoes and grilled chicken, I had the biscuits. So, I mean, like, there's been, like, one here or there, but I have not been having hardly anything that's, like, fake food that way. I've been having salads, fish, sushi, and blah, 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 and feeling really good. So I didn't think about like how long it had been since I'd had anything that bad. You guys, I kid you not. I, I could not have made this up. I couldn't have made it. I couldn't have imagined it would be this awful. So I had a pretzel with that jalapeno cheese whiz dip that I really love. I was so bloated and had the worst stomach ache. And it, I mean, I felt like I'd eaten three watermelons. That's how heavy and bloated I felt. And I literally could not like, I couldn't eat the rest of the day. So I went to take her out um, for chilies later. And I'm literally sitting there going, my clothes feel so tight on me. I feel so bloated. I'm in so much pain. I feel like I have 25 pounds of food in my stomach that I couldn't even like, I'm like, should I just order a salad? Should I get some like broth kind of soup? I couldn't order anything because I literally was at the point where it's like, if I eat one more thing, I'll explode. That's how awful it made me feel. I, I have to be honest with you. I'm kind of glad it did because it'll be like hell will freeze over before I have that again. And that has always been my favorite, favorite thing to eat. But it really taught me something. Like when you really get away from a certain kind of food or a certain whatever, and you go back to it, it ain't pretty. And then it's, it's probably good that it ain't pretty because then you won't want to go back there. Kid you not. And I also have to tell you, when I was grocery shopping, um, I went to Jewel and I walked right by a lot of stuff that I used to be like, oh, how about I just have that? It's just Sunday. I'll just have it today. Like Krispy Kremes or, you know, what bread. I was just walking by that stuff going, no, I just want to get fish. I'm going to get vegetables. I want to get fruit. I want to make these fudge babies. That is that. So don't believe that you can't like make changes in your life. Sometimes you'll surprise yourself. Sometimes, you know, I don't think with me, um, a lot of the things that I've eliminated, I really realized I was eliminating, which is kind of cool. So anyway, here's this recipe. It calls for, it's like four ingredients. Um, it calls for one cup of walnuts, which I've gone all Food Network on you and pre-measured them. So I'm putting walnuts in. Walnuts I do really like. However, I don't know about you guys, I always mix up walnuts and pecans. Um, I think pecans look like walnuts and vice versa. I'm just gonna put that out there. A cup and a third, this is my way of saying it's a cup and a third of dates. I bought Medijules because I love Medijules. They make me want to marry them, so I put them in there. Good Lord, they're so good. Of course, I was a little disappointed. These are a little dry. Oh my God. How can you not like Medijules? They're the best thing ever. Just take the pit out or you'll grow a Medijul in your tummy. Um, and then it says, this printed out really small. Teaspoon of vanilla. Crap, I forgot the salt. But we're gonna see what it tastes like first. Teaspoon of vanilla. And how much cocoa? Where is it? Three to four tablespoons cocoa, or special dark cocoa, which I happen to have just bought from our friend Hershey. So let's, let's start with three and we'll see how that goes. Wow, this is dark. Ain't nothing wrong with that. One, two. So excited to taste this. I wonder if she puts like something stevia-ish in there or anything. I don't think so. Da, 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 da. That's it. So right before your eyes, I am making fudge babies. Let's see. Ah! Okay, they're not quite ready. What just happened? I'll just die if I just broke my food processor. Before you put your hands into a food processor, first of all, children, you shouldn't be doing this on your own. Unplug. Not quite sure what's going on in here. Oh, I can see though, they're starting to get, see how they're starting to like consolidate? Oh, I think I put a pit in there. That's probably what it was. Danger. That's probably what was 
upsetting this. I'm just gonna taste this. Hopefully I don't throw up in front of you. Oh my God. <laughs> oh crap. See, here's the thing. Now that I've taken this out, I'm gonna have to undump it and, and redo it, but I'll just give you an idea. See what that looks like? I, you guys just saw, I just, I would not lie to you. That tastes almost like a, like a, um, in a way, it almost tastes like that gluten-free vegan protein bar I had yesterday, but better. No offense, Corey. Oh my God, this is really good. I haven't added the salt. So she said, add some salt because then it has that salty sweet taste. This is really good. So you guys have to try to make this. Oh my God. That's finger licking good. I got to figure out the calories. <laughs> Because I'm sure that's something where I could eat like the whole thing. Let's see. So a whole recipe. Um, a fourth of a cup of walnuts is 200 calories. So we had four. That's 800 calories in walnuts. Uh, Medijoules. I used all but two. This says that there's about... God, I should have done that. Um... I'm going to say probably 800 calories, so 1,600 calories, um, a tablespoon, this had three, uh, 1,650, and uh, that's it. So I'd say about 1,700 calories, so you'd probably want to divide this up into at least, you know, I don't know, however many portions, you know, whatever. You could divide that up by the number of balls it makes, and then figure out how many calories per ball. But that's your healthy recipe for the day. Now I am off to enjoy my day. I'm going to go to hot yoga tonight. I am still blogging and vlogging every day and I am kicking such butt and it feels so great. So I hope you guys are doing the same and I'll see you tomorrow.